Hey, what's up? This is Maddie from Memphis May Fire, and you're watching Tattoo.com. Yeah, honestly, normally I don't watch the whole set, but you know, when you came out, you introduced one of your new songs today, Virus. That's right. That's it right. It was pretty cool. You want to tell us about that song for the people that have not yet checked it out? Totally. So, um, I guess it was a few months ago, we decided to jump back in the studio and write and record a brand new song. Um, we just really see the value right now in consistently giving new material to the fans. Um, it's really, it's a lot like that in the hip hop world, right? Like you see a new song come out every three months and never lose people's interest. And so um, we're gonna try to follow that format and we're just really excited to keep giving new music out. Virus is the new one and people seem to like it. I love it, but here's where my downfall falls is I'm so in love with the older music that I'm like, play the old music, and then you play the new one, and I'm like, totally. oh, but I love that too. What am I gonna do? <laughs> you know what? I mean, the thing is, is I grew up listening to bands like, right, like Under Oath, right, and like, no matter how great their new record is, I'll never think it's better than, you know, they're only chasing safety. It's really what it comes down to is like the stage of life that you're in when you hear a band for the first time, the way that they make you feel, the connection that you have with the music at that season of your life, and you just can't recreate that moment. So it's like, you know, we are, in my opinion, writing the best music of our career, but if people prefer to hear the old stuff because it makes them feel the way they used to feel when they were a kid or whatever, I totally get it. So we're gonna keep playing a mix of it forever. See there how he kindly aged me, like when I was a kid. No, I mean, we've that's only right. been... I'm, a, I'm a little bit old for Warp Through, but you know, whatever. Me too, it trust is. me, especially in this heat. I'm feeling a little old for it, yeah. Well, and we are here in Dallas, and you are homegrown in Dallas, are you not? Yeah, I'm actually originally wa born in Washington State, but um, the whole band was kind of formed in Dallas, so we lived here for quite a while, yeah. That is very awesome. I'm seriously, like one of my favorite bands. You guys are like my iPod playlist. You Love are it. the reason when I do push-ups and I feel like I just want to die. I crank your shit up. And That's I'm like, awesome. Yes. <laughs> I yeah. wish our I wish our music could encourage me to do more push-ups because <laughs> I definitely need to for sure. Oh no, you guys kill you guys kill it. And speaking of you know like out on stage and seeing a great show, you are very easy to see. I mean, you are. You're a walking artboard here, and since we are with Tattoo.com, I would like to talk to you about some of your art. Let's do it. I absolutely love the hands. Thank you, yeah, so Matt Lentz did the hands. He's in Seattle, Washington, and um, he's been tattooing me since I was like 18 years old. Um, but you know, we had these ideas for the hands when, uh, when I was still living in Seattle, and I uh, just went for it. But I, I really love Matt. He's gonna continue to tattoo me for the rest of my life, for sure. Well, and your tattoos um, all over are very, spiritual and, and tell a story is there any special one that you want to talk about that has a backstory that's just more overwhelming than the rest of them yeah well i guess the newest would be um london reese is working on my neck he did this piece over here which is the woman at the well um and at the end of this tour i'm going to do a piece on this side of my neck that is going to be um moses right so over here, the woman at the well represents grace in scripture, right? The story of the woman at the well represents grace. And Moses obviously represents the law. And then on the back of my neck, I'm going to do the cross. And the cross perfectly blends law and grace together. That's what's so amazing about the gospel. So I just think that that'll be a cool way to represent that. See, and what I love, you're talking about inspire people. Your music is inspires in a positive way yet it still like gets you up there and you know makes you want to you know what say. but I mean it's a you know what I mean you don't leave like wanting to like rip the arms off a kitten and throw it you leave wanting to be like a community of people full of music we are very much so um want to be a, a beacon of hope you know like we want all of our songs to feel hopeful when people leave a concert or finish listening to a CD we really want that to be what they're left with so yeah absolutely and I love the way that you told us where, where it's going to be because right now you see the naked neck yeah well almost naked neck you got you got the tap behind the ear but About you know a week from now it will be it'll be full back there yep oh you're gonna have to keep us at tattoo.com posted oh, just yeah. like yeah, send we'll us send a, you a pic for sure. Oh my god! Yeah, totally. So, are you one of these people when you get them? Do you feel the do you feel the pain, or are you are you ready for this? I mean, obviously you got them everywhere, but the neck and. I mean, people that say they don't feel tattoos, they fall asleep during tattoos. It's like that's such BS. It's like you feel tattoos, you have nerve buildup, and you're sticking a needle under your skin. It sucks. Getting tattooed sucks. But if you love tattoos, it's obviously worth it. Um, mine are obviously very important to me for the message, so it's definitely worth the pain. But yeah, I feel it. I feel it just like anybody else. Like this one too. The seven-headed beast from Revelation, right? So that's all a big part of the story of Revelation and Scripture. And um, there's nowhere to really find, like, a great representation of the seven-headed beast. Like, so Matt had to kind of just dream it up. And, um, and I think it turned out really rad. I've had that one for 
11 years. Yeah, it's, just, it's an old tattoo. Well, that's okay. We talked about old things, me, you. <laughs> See how I threw you under the bus there? So, um, yeah, like I said, the spiritual thing is very awesome. But one other thing, you know, as t- tattoo people, some, pe- some guys are afraid of color. Some guys are like, you know, I can't do color. I've got to be, you know, black and gray. You have beautiful popping colors, I've and it always, works very well. Yeah, I've always loved color and tattoos, especially, like, people that are great with color when they're tattooing. And being that I'm a redhead, so I'm pretty pale, I can – you know, color sticks pretty well with me. So, so it's all good. Yeah. I'll, I'll, all my tattoos will always be very colorful. Yeah. Now, are you just upper body or do you have them all over? Yeah. I've got some on my legs and stuff right now. I'm doing a giant black Panther on my stomach and chest. That's, I probably have another 30 hours to go on it, but it's a cover up of a, you know, I used to have a family crest on my stomach and chest. And so covering that up and, um, you know, I've got like, like a Memphis tattoo back here and like a tattoo back here of like a guy shaving meat off of a spit and it says kebab mob. Cause we all love kebab when we're in Europe. That's all we eat. Um, got both my feet done. I don't know. It's everywhere. You got them everywhere. Now you said that's new and that's a cover up. Do you mind showing it? I mean, it is or- far from done. It would be very unfair to the artist to show you at this point. Yeah. It's like half black and half not it's uh, but yeah, like I said, probably have about 30 hours on it and then we'll send you a picture when it's done. 30 out that that's like, that's commitment right there. I already put, yeah, I already put like 50 into it as well. It's just been like a constant. And I mean, like when you've got something under black, the, you know, it, it shows through. It's a, it's a nightmare. So don't get tattoos by someone that's not good at tattooing. Well, you heard it here. The best news you can get from one of the best bands in the scene, Mandy Mellon's talking about tattoos, music. Um, please tell everybody where they can find the new music in the album and see you and all that good jazz. Yeah, so we're on the Vans Warped Tour for about a week and a half, and you know, left. We've been on it for two months, so it's uh, it's been a great tour. You can find our music anywhere on the internet. Um, if you want to steal it, you can torrent it. I know everyone does that, anyways. Um, but you know, you YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Music, anywhere, anywhere you can find music, we're there. Thank you very much.